What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and showing some awesome attacks, Town Hall 14, Town Hall 13, Town Hall 12, a little bit of everything today. Uh, I wanna showcase some of these nice attacks in uh, One Hive Genesis. Been a little while since I've uploaded, but trying to get back into it. And um, definitely some good attacks from this war to show in today's video, some uh, interesting air strategies that have become pretty popular as well as some of the kind of the old-fashioned attacks that are still working. Um, this first one uh, I really like, and it's utilizing um, pretty much all air troops. The idea here, not trying to lure out the ground CC. I think the king might get in range, possibly, because uh, you'll see here in just a moment there's going to be the use of a wall breaker to kind of open things up for the heroes. Uh, but the main idea of this first attack here, taking out the um, town hall with just the battle blimp, as well as a few rocket balloons to help out, uh, not luring out any CC troops that don't need to come out. Looks like just a few goblins came out and then the hound is actually triggered by the queen, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, that's kind of the price of using the wall breaker to open things up, trying to get that scatter shot. Uh, so the hound is out, it's gonna kind of pull some dragons in weird places. Uh, but the thing that really makes this attack is the base identification. Uh, if you go back to the beginning of this attack and you look at the base, you'll notice that a lot of the uh, splash damage is towards that upper part of the base, that top right-ish, and the kind of bottom left-ish side doesn't have nearly as many of those uh, scattershot, wizard tower, multi-infernos, the big things that'll kill your bats. So basically just one back end um, uh, wizard tower could have used an ice goblet or an ice golem even just because um, there's a nice mortar right there to uh, anchor it on um, so that that even could have been an option instead of using the free spells but in this case has the spells to do it and um, the big thing is having enough troop space enough uh, power in your push with your um, your dragons and uh, looks like in this case a couple dragon riders maybe a rocket balloon or two having enough of that to get through the meat the core of the base and then being able to uh, uh, finish it off with the bats once the stuff in the middle is down um, still a few attacks going on this war is pretty much over though most of these bases have been tripled i think just one star remains uh, we're going to jump around a little bit so we'll come back to town hall 14 going to go all the way down to our last base here show a little town hall 12 action um, and this is just a classic attack, guys, but one that's still working. There's a lot working at Town Hall 12 right now. Um, the air attacks, for sure, uh, but also the ground um, are still pretty reliable. And this one has been around for quite a while um, using the Super Witches, and in this case, the Zap Quake on the Inferno Tower. There's a couple different ways you can set this up, but a big thing is kind of creating that funnel early on. Um, so I like how the Warden was the very first thing that was dropped just to speed things up. Um, you could have even used maybe like a goblin or something, a wizard, to kind of help the warden with those first few buildings, because time is the big limiting factor here, more often than the actual uh, amount of troops being able to take out the base. Usually you run out of time with this attack. Um, so, got things going pretty quickly, which was good. Another thing you'll notice is the great funnel on pretty much both sides. Now this uh, elixir storage had me a little worried for a second, but uh, luckily the witches are going to kind of ignore it because there's so many Teslas kind of pulling them in here at the beginning. Um, but the other side of the funnel was really great using the king as well as the siege barracks. Um, you got to take all that stuff out so the witches have nowhere to go uh, but directly into the base here. They're going to target the town hall. It's going to pull them inside. Um, one thing that uh, defenders love to do is have that little one wall gap uh, right at the corner of their town hall compartment but once you learn how to navigate that it's really not that hard to deal with and it saves you even having to use a super wall breaker you can just use that gap to your advantage if you know how to use it right so we'll see that in a couple other attacks uh, today too i believe um, the use of the valkyries in the siege barracks i, I saw what he was going for i um, trying to just get some troops that can take out these outer buildings but in this case it really didn't do anything uh, the multi infernos as well as the king just melted those valks um, so perhaps there might have been a better uh, combo of troops to put in there uh, whether it was an, uh, another super witch or something else um, you got to be careful the valks are good but if there's too much damage on them they're really not going to get much value before they die um, so you got to kind of be careful about what you bring there anyway though um, this attack worked out pretty well you can see here um, super witches for the most part I think they're all still alive uh, maybe one of them at the top went down not sure we'll fast forward Queen's ability a couple back-end balloons don't discount the importance of those back-end loons uh, taking out two defenses helping with cleanup 
especially when the healers are focused on one thing, it's easy to lose your queen or something else because uh, the healers will not focus on your queen. They'll focus on the super witches most of the time. Okay, uh, let's move along here. Let's take a look at our one Town Hall 13 attack. Didn't have as many 13s in this war, but I uh, wanted to show at least one for you guys today. And I thought this was just a really cool attack. Now, this base and, you know, even some of the other bases we're seeing today are not the best. They're kind of maybe the second tier uh, in terms of quality. But um, I'm sure it's pretty typical of a lot of bases you guys might see in... Uh, random wars or uh, your monthly clan war league stuff like that um, so I really like this attack because it was very creative utilizing um, the inferno dragons the uh, dragon riders and then because there's the single infernos dropping down the skeleton spells uh, periodically to distract and really uh, keep the fire off of the big uh, damage dealing troops so you have the scatter shots the single infernos are getting concerned with those skeletons. Meanwhile, um, the air troops are just kind of rolling through. Nice use of the heroes on the left to kind of funnel things. And of course, I think what made this attack was the battle blimp coming in right through. A nice delayed battle blimp so it didn't take too much damage and gets that town hall taken out along with the uh, inferno tower there. Heal spell in the middle, which can work for these kind of mid-health troops, um, similar to like hog riders or miners, how you'd heal them. So the heal was not, you know, not misplaced, I think. It, it was pretty good. And then, um, you know, enough troops to kind of finish off the base here. The uh, Royal Champion, you know, still has her ability, which is typically a good indicator of this attack. Three stars, you know, for any attack when you still have the Royal Champion ability. So plenty of troops left up. We'll fast forward here. Nice hit. Um, that's how you can deal with some of these bases that have the Town Hall in the middle. Um, air typically is your friend, especially that Battle Blimp can be very strategic with it um, okay let's move on to we'll go up to our other town hall 14 attack number six here um, take a look at it so this base um, I think is somewhat typical maybe not exactly the best layout but it's um, a pretty typical layout at town hall 14 because you typically see um, these multi infernos in the middle uh, with some gaps around them trying to kind of screw up pathing through the core, take out uh, balloons and stuff like that that might go in kind of a circle around the base, or really any troops. Um, it's a pretty common technique. Then you kind of spread out the high value buildings, the uh, eagle, the scatter shots, the other infernos, of course, the town hall. So pretty typical stuff. Um, once again, we have that uh, uh, corner piece left out to screw up the wall breakers. But if you start your queen uh, like uh, the attacker did here, kind of towards the bottom and funnel her up, as long as you take out some of those, um, actually I don't even think you have to take out those outer buildings because the way she's uh, coming up at, uh, from the bottom, she just naturally kind of angles in. Um, so not much of a funnel required as long as you get her uh, pushed the right direction initially. Um, so a couple poison spells for the CC troops. Looks like there was a attempt to use the uh, super wall breaker, and I think that I'm not sure if that's the intended spot to be opened. But if it was, um, I think it maybe makes some sense because it worked out okay here. The queen doing her thing, a uh, nice balloon actually takes out two buildings, one of them being a Tesla. And then here comes the king with another super wall breaker, gonna let the king in and actually I think maybe even get that scatter shot. So. That was very high value for sure. Just raining in these super wall breakers. You know, sometimes you can't always predict exactly how the super wall breakers are going to go. So you bring a few extra and you just kind of hope for the best. In this case, things work out pretty well. Um, the queen is going to be pushed back around to that uh, inferno in the middle and a nice uh, invisibility spell, which I think might not have been totally needed at the time, but uh, made sure the queen was able to get that multi down, which is kind of the key here getting that multi-inferno down uh, because that's what would screw up the air pathing for the most part through the base. Um, comes in a little bit late with that uh, headhunter. It's hard to coordinate all these troop deployments. I think that was to take out the real champion, but the, the queen does that anyway. Coming through here, a uh, nice warden's ability as the scatter shot was doing some damage. And of course, the real champion's still alive. The lava hound was killed, so it can uh, the real champion's kind of free to go through the base here without dealing with any of those uh, clan castle troops and she'll help take out multi inferno but ton of balloons left up the warden the electro owl of course um, all that good stuff 
nice attack. We'll take a look at one more, a Town Hall uh, 12 attack to kind of wrap up this nice little tour through these different Town Hall levels. Um, let's see, number 20, I think. Um, so this one was uh, just a nice Queen Walk Lalo attack, nothing too fancy. And I think the Queen Walk was very well planned out here. Um, you'll see just starting off, this stuff you can predict often is the, kind of the first few buildings the Queen's going to take out, which way she's going to go. So it doesn't have to get too creative with the funneling. does have to get those healers down though. That She got a little bit low there. Um, opens things up with the Super Wall Breaker and uh, Queen comes down here. One thing that you'll notice that I really like is the queen starts to move through the base. She's going to be walking through this kind of outer channel, getting all these high value buildings, which is great value. Um, but this can take a long time. There's a lot of buildings down here. So it's important to use troops to kind of take out these outer buildings, which are pretty easy to get and um, just going to waste the queen's time. You want her focusing on the town hall, the infernos, the stuff the other troops can't get. Uh, so he uses not only the king, but also a combination of uh, wizards, sneaky goblins, of course some balloons to suss out these seeking air mines. You know there's going to be a lot of them down here because of all the high value buildings and because it looks like a good place to queen charge. Uh, so it has to get those taken out. And of course, um, or not of course, but I think a nice twist here was the super wall breaker to let the king in. Might as well. Um, he can definitely speed things up for you, help take stuff out. Not always ideal for the king and queen to overlap, but in this case, I think it was a good idea. And um, just going to make things go faster, get more value, quicker, uh, less spells required, all that good stuff. Now, the great use of the um, stone slammer here, but I think it was a little... Uh, Either the stone slammer was early or even more likely the Lalo was a little late because the slammer is going to get just destroyed by all the expos and everything. Uh, you really want the lava hound, the balloons tanking a little bit for it because it doesn't quite get that stuff in the core as quickly as we would have liked. Um, the balloons will move through a very nice rage spell as well as the warden's ability. Um, this was a critical little push through the base here and I like the use of the dragon rider as well. Um, but I think it, it could have been done a little cleaner. Uh, that being said, Queen's still alive, has an extra free spell, so um, definitely had some breathing room on this attack even still. Nice stuff, uh, very well organized attack. And that'll do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. I'll try to get some more content out for you guys soon, but until then, keep hitting that creator code. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.